Let us now study about the transmission of electromagnetic signals through space. We have studied that in a communication system from information sender, the information is fed to a transducer, which converts it the information into the electrical form, and then from the transducer it is first supplied to an amplifier, which increases the intensity of signal. And then it is supplied to a transmitter, through which, using an antenna, the information is broadcasted in space. Now, when we talk about an antenna, we'll discuss about an antenna here. That when an antenna is connected to the transmitter for broadcasting of signals in form of electromagnetic waves, here we can write that. Analysis of antenna shows this analysis is not in our limitations. That's why I'm not analyzing why this is coming out. But here we can write analysis of antenna shows that for optimum power transmission. Of signals, the size of antenna must be at least lambda by four, where lambda is the wavelength of electromagnetic waves which are being broadcasted. So here we can write for a sound signal. We know that sound signal, even if we talk about the highest pitch of three thousand hertz, the wavelength corresponding for the electromagnetic wave would be c by n, that is three into ten to per eight divided by three thousand. That will be ten to per five meter, or it is about hundred kilometers. So, if the wavelength is hundred kilometers for a sound wave when converted into electromagnetic waves, then the size of antenna required in this situation, lambda by four, would be here. We can write size of antenna required is approximately twenty-five kilometers or more, which is not practically possible. Which is not practical. So, such kind of antennas can never be constructed. So directly, the sound signals can never be transmitted over space. But when we talk about for a high frequency wave of frequency approximately thousand megahertz, that is ten to power nine hertz, if we talk about its wavelength, that will be c by n, that is three into ten to power eight divided by Ten to power nine. That will be zero point three meter, which is thirty centimeter. So in this situation, the size of antenna required for transmission of such a high frequency wave would be more than or equals to lambda by four, the seven point five centimeter, which is practically possible. So, in case of a space transmission of electromagnetic waves, we prefer high frequency waves only, where the size of antenna used for broadcasting of signals would be practical. Directly for low frequency wave, the size of antenna would be impractical or not feasible in practical life. That's why only high frequency waves are used for electromagnetic signal transmission through space. Later in the coming sections, we'll study that voice signal can be superimposed over the high frequency carrier signal, and then it can be transmitted. The phenomena is called modulation. We'll take up later in a separate section as a separate topic. We'll study about modulation in detail.